we're getting into women's mental health. Today we're very specific. Let's run the bumper. And uh, having this conversation with us today is an amazing, gorgeous woman. She's been here before. Ayanda, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Lovely to see Lovely you. Lovely to see you too. Well, I see you elsewhere, but you know. <laughs> Good to have you on this yeah, couch. Thank you. <laughs> For anybody who missed out our conversation, and your sh shoe, Ayanda. Thank you. <laughs> your sh What? Okay. Now that is a good show. You're the queen of fashion. <laughs> <laughs> For anybody who did not catch our conversation the last time you were here, kindly introduce yourself to the people and that is your camera. Okay. My name is Ayanda Pakati and I work for an organization, organization called AKG Global Missions. And we are here in Kenya to help people who have been through traumatic lives. Um, mainly we, we've been dealing with people who've gone through sexual trauma, um, you know, mutilation, things like that. And we've been helping them just overcome that kind of trauma and help them just get back into life, just get that balance back. Because um, when somebody's gone through so much trauma, yeah. you find that their life is sort of on a destructive path. And we've just kind of been helping people have that focus again. So yeah. That's, that's what, what you do. That's and we're we do. happy you're here because today we are specific. Yeah. We're talking about women and their mental health. Yes. And I don't know if you've seen memes going around where it's a man and a woman mm -hmm. where the man is sick with a flu and he's on the in the bed, covered up, can't do anything. And the next picture, couple of pictures actually, mm -hmm. is a woman with flu cooking washing cleaning <laughs> doing everything you know yeah. so they've sort of like built up this image of how a woman is a superpower okay like she can do everything she can multitask yeah. but then again to what expense yes. are we doing these things as women yes um i yeah i think that's i think as this as women we can do that because you know we always have these society expectations um, so women can seem as a superpower, and yet yeah, they are, uh, but many women also hide what they're going through because you have so many expectations um, in society, mm. in your home, things like that. So I feel like many of us hide behind a picture that is not really true, that mm. is not really, you know, it's not really speaking our truth, yeah. and we just kind of have to meet obligations and do what we can. Uh, but mental health is really uh, a serious thing it's a serious thing because that person who can be doing all those chores in the house can be yeah. completely depressed that is true <laughs> they can be completely anxious and yes. so much panic and whatever it is um, but they're just doing that for this they're just group. doing life because that is what is expected of them Absolutely. you can't break down because when you break down then the whole family is broken down but then how can we tell that a woman needs help how what are the telltale signs that yes she's doing everything that is supposed to be done by a woman yeah yes she's 37 and not married and still showing up smiling yeah uh, with the society looking at her those ones for why are you not married why don't you have kids yeah. how do can we tell them behind the facade of i am okay yeah that facade we always put yeah. on yeah um i think it's uh it, it's very difficult if if that person is just putting up the facade and you're just kind of engaging with them on, on, that, the surface. on that surface. Yes. So you have to come a little bit closer and see what is happening behind doors. And, you know, uh, people really lose a lot of confidence. Um, you, you can tell, like, inside maybe that person has actually doesn't even talk about their goals anymore. They don't even talk about their vision anymore. Um, they, they don't really express themselves all the time. Uh, as women, we are expressive. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we like to talk, we like to express ourselves. But maybe sometimes that person may just be shut down. And y you will have to get a bit closer to that person to actually understand what's going on. Um, because most of the times, all this social media and everything, we're always putting up faces yes. to show others that we are okay. That we're okay. But but we are not. We are not. And would you say that because of society, probably what we've had that women come out more to talk about what they're going through. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Is it is it a matter of fact that we actually step out to talk about our mental health and what we're feeling and what we're going through? Um, are you saying that, sorry, can you just repeat that? You, th you mean that women are more vocal about yes, it? Yes, yes. 
Uh, in my experience, I've yeah. not found that as a very... As very matter of yeah, fact. Yeah, actually. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like people nowadays are vocal about the vulnerable things or, you know, the things that make them feel like, oh, I'm exposed. You know, people don't want to be exposed that mm. much you know and for my program I help people to be exposed like if the, the more exposed you are the more aware of yourself you are the better you can make changes in your life uh, because if you're not addressing those issues you're not addressing your mental um, stability or not addressing the issues that are going on inside of you then you kind of like living in a false false world yeah. and you cannot tackle what you do not know that is true. So you, you cannot, you can't get better. So how or what can I do as a healthy woman trying to live my life yeah. and I'm, I'm realizing that things are not okay. I am losing interest in things that used to, you know, burn matter. in me. Yeah. They used to matter to me. Yeah. But now I'm not feeling like that anymore. What yeah. are the few steps or where do I even begin yeah. to get, you know, my sanity back, to get the love that I had for things around me again? Yeah. So, you know, our body, right? People just talk about this physical body. Yes. But we have a soul, we have a spirit, right? So we have, we are a being that has three parts and those three parts must be fed, right? So you need a certain balance in your life. And for you to kind of avoid mental stuff and kind of stay on top of it, you need to be feeding those three parts of your life. And so can be, you know, feed your your spirit. Maybe you have some sort of spirituality. Uh, you must feed your soul with fun, interaction, adrenaline. You must feed your soul with different kind of activities. And of course, you feed your. Body. We know we know that there's nutrition, there's exercise. But if you can do that more regular, it actually helps. So different mind. fronts. Yes. Do not focus on just physical or right. just spiritual. Right. It. Focus on all parts, parts of the body. Soul, spirit and body. Everything we interact with friends in the soul. Yeah. We go outside and do um I don't know, adventurous stuff, you know, <laughs> hiking whatever it is. It's feeding the soul. It's kind of like rejuvenating your passions and rejuvenating your just that bring back that clarity. Mm. Like you have to come back to that clarity because what depends that is that you get stuck like in a rut and you become stagnant and you focus on the issue scenario and you can move up from that you need different things that can really kind of uh mind and so forth yeah. yeah so if you go to look at things that you enjoy to that you, you were younger when you were single yes if it's marriage if it's children that come in yeah. what did you use to do what exactly. are some things that you used to enjoy doing? Yeah. Just yourself because we lose ourselves. Exactly. We lose get married, and become a wife and mother, yeah. and you lose you, the yeah. individual. Yeah. Life is in that. But now, as an individual, what do I love to do? What, I, what am I passionate about? Mm -hmm. What do I need to go back to? Uh, how can I feel spiritual? Or maybe I need more uh, spiritual knowledge. Maybe I need to sick. Maybe mm -hmm. I need, You just need that. You find. Yeah, to find it, I'm gonna take a video about commercial. We'll be right back. Welcome back, welcome back to Full Circle with Mukali. A very good morning to you. I still have Ayanda Pakati in the building. We are talking matters mental health specifically about women and we've talked about a lot of things and how to even take care of myself as a woman finding the things that i used to love before when i realized that my life seems eh. yeah so the things that i used to do the things that i used to enjoy the passions that i had to just yeah but what about this conversation about mental health is it something that is happening is it just happening in the urban settings what about the people who are at home how can how can we go about just making this conversation loud yeah. and accessible to everybody yeah i think it's really really important to just be yourself and with women it's good to really find um somebody you can be accountable to mm. and just somebody you can speak to like this is actually the real me you know 
with all the stuff that I try to put up, but this is actually the real me, and I need help with this and this. And when, and when you see this kind of signs going on in me, can you please help me to um, to envision again or to get back on track again? Um, so I think it really just starts with an individual. Yeah. There's nothing we can do. It starts with one person. If, and if we really want to see women flourish and women um, come out of this thing, uh, then we just have to be vulnerable with one another. And it's it's really about being real, being yeah. real. You being just real, being, being real. Just yeah. being there, showing yourself as, yeah. as who you really yeah. are. Because we live our lives showing the world what they want to see. Exactly, exactly. But then we lose ourselves yeah. in that space. In that space. Of and being Mrs. Perfect. And you have to keep up that charade for yeah. so long. Um, but you really need to have friends that you can be able to just talk to about mm -hmm. these things because keeping it all inside will just keep it make it all worse yeah. and I always say that depression is not the root of the problem depression is a result of something so even though we are manifesting all these um, signs but we have to actually go back to the root what is it that actually started this depression in my life okay. you see because I can have depression today, tomorrow I can be okay, the next day I have it again. So it's like, it's just a result of my childhood trauma. It's coming from uh, my own uh, neglect and rejection and the things that I pass through in life. Even when men go into substance ab abuse, it's because they're trying to suppress something, mm. you see what I mean? And so they've faced traumatic experiences in their childhood and because they don't really they're not they're not like women they don't That's really true. want Open to exp up. yeah they don't yes. want that so the only thing they can go and do is substance ab abuse um just put your head in the sand and just drag yourself into an, an addiction so that you don't have to think about it mm. um so all of these things are more of just signs and just results yeah. and, and most of us forget that actually there's a deeper root to that and that is what we need to find. That is where the healing begins. Exactly. Because if it doesn't, it will keep recurring. Absolutely. It's the same things happening to you. Yeah. And I like how you say that we need to be very real and we need to find people to hold us accountable, yeah. to remind you to be grounded, yes. to, remem to remind you of who you used to be and yeah. what are your values and all of that. Yeah. How can people get in touch with you, Ayanda? You can get in touch with me with, uh, you can go on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, we are called AKG Global Missions. Then I also have a women's group called Mary Circle, um, AKG. So you can go, it's the same thing for Facebook and um, Instagram. Instagram. Yes. Okay, great. Yes. So anonymously, DM, is there a number? Or they can get all the information they need on these pages? My number is actually on AKG Global Missions. So you can get it from Facebook. You can, if you want to contact me, I have a work phone. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes it's so difficult just <laughs> going to Ayanda. <laughs> So this is what I feel. I know. <laughs> but with the numbers are great over there. If yeah. you need help, if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you feel the need to talk to somebody who will not judge you, that they do not know anything about you, so they won't come at you with, you know, and remember that life happens from within you, that you need to heal from the inside and be willing to go through the process to find the root cause, as Ayanda has said, for you to find your healing. We're going to take a very short commercial break. When we come back, musical break to be precise. When we come back, you know how I'm a sucker for good love stories. So we'll have just the one for you.